Well, this week, you can either look at the good side or the bad side. On one hand, it feels like you can feel in the air uh, the towards the end of the wars here, plural wars here in Israel, uh, in the north and in the south. But on the other hand, it feels like World War Three might yeah. be about right around the corner where Putin and Poland and NATO and everything else is going on. Yep. Well, let's talk about all that and everything else. TGR News, broadcasting from the State of Israel. Welcome back to TGR News. Hello, hello. Thank you guys so much. This is such a special time. This is, we, we knew this was coming. We knew the Lord was pushing was pushing us in this direction, so we knew if we stay obedient, this is exactly where we would end up. It's still so exciting to have finally have a place, and and just recently we had our first delivery truck pull up to fill start filling up the place with food. We still have ways to go and uh, to fill up more and just cupboards and excuse me the, the the shelves and everything else, but we're getting there slowly, slowly. It is so wonderful to be. And that, now that we're getting into it more and more, we're seeing exactly how this is actually going to help us reach so much more people. And like Ola always says, and it's because of you and your support that you're helping change the statistic here in the state of Israel yes. of one out of three children going to bed hungry every night. So it is such a blessed thing to be a part of and we thank you guys so much you can see here in the videos the uh the us putting everything together and slowly moving forward and, and everything else so man it is exciting i am yes. so excited me too i hope you too you are part of it it's all because of you yes. everything is you guys it's all you yes uh, we're doing the works b because of you amen well let's thank get started you. yes let's do it at the beginning of the week we saw how the leaders of Hamas fled Qatar and moved into Turkey. This was, of course, after Qatar officially and publicly announced that Hamas was no longer welcome in their country. Later, they denied it. Yes. <laughs> only the fact that Trump won the election and is only president-elect for the moment, it, says it has bad guys already running. And hey, nervous, hey, nervous, right? That's so true. On the other hand, this is another nail in the coffin, talking to, uh, taking Turkey farther away from the West and making it stronger enemy against the state of Israel That's true. and the West. Yes, but, absolutely. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's uh, well, you know, we, we all like to bring it up all the time about Ezekiel 38, yes. where it's, it's just, a, you know, everything is, it seems like every time you turn on the news, it's just more and more pieces of the puzzle falling in place exactly you know and so we know that it has to happen and it's just this is just another step along the way yes right so it, it's prophetic so we, we knew it was coming but it is uh it one thing i do like to see about it about it is is just how much of an effect donald trump has you know yes. on the, on the region on the area on the prophecies of what's to come. Like we just said, this is prophetic. Donald Trump being elected caused this step to happen, right? Yes. You know, so I mean it's just how everything is moving together. It's 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 a wonder it's exciting time to be in oh yes. And 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 very interesting to watch and put the pieces together. Definitely. Yes. Yeah, it's it's just really something. This week we had more talks between Israel and Lebanon to stop the war. Just the fact that Hezbollah is already sitting down at the table means that they see the end and now they are losing at fast at a fast pace. That's basically what that means. So they are trying to save what they can. And the deal is Israel asking for no Hezbollah presence south of the Litani River and also in the deal is Hezbollah does not come south of the river. Then Israel has the right to go into southern Lebanon, south of the river, right? The Litani, it's all about that river Litania. line. Yep. Um, or, so, so south of the river into Lebanon to move them out. If, if they do come into that area, we have the right to move them out. 
This that's crazy. Yeah. Basically, Israel is is asking for the right to defend herself. We should make a deal, and if they break it, then do what we have to do, and not ask anyone's permission. You know, it's it is kind of insane. You know, to say let's make a deal, but we put in the deal that if you break the deal, I have the right to do something about it. Yeah. But no, you just make the deal. Yes, exactly. You don't come past this. We don't do this. This is the deal. Done. Many, yeah, it's so strange to me. Many things strange. First of all, it's strange that we're making the deals with terror organization. Yeah. That's in the first place, There right? used to be a rule about that, isn't yeah. there? No, no talk, no, no negotiation. No negotiation <laughs> yeah. with terrorists. Yeah. There used to be a rule exactly. about that. Exactly, but now it's all soft and not, you know, yeah. politically correct. Very, very true. <laughs> but the second thing, this, it's like... What will happen if they break, if they rearm the, the southern the Litani, then we can please let us do when they break the rules. Let we, us let us let us what is this, this is the craziest, craziest thing. Things. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, but the <laughs> fact that Hezbollah is talking, I have a feeling it's also greatly because of the president elect coming to power here soon. There were the whole the, the whole part of the world is 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 our side, Israel, we're happy about it and can't wait for it. And uh, and the other side, you know, the Islamic uh, jihadists and all these countries around us, they're all worried about it, what's going to happen, right? Yeah, yeah. So it's great. It's making big, big changes. Just yes. the fact that he was elected. Yes, I agree. Yeah. So, I mean, it's a lot going on up in Lebanon. Let's be honest. The war, I've been saying it for a while. The war in Gaza strategically is over. The only thing left is our hostages. Okay, now I don't, I be, this is what I really believe, okay? The, the, we'll, as soon as we get our hostages back, the war in Gaza is over. We will still have some sort of presence there trying to figure out how to give Gaza back to the Gazan citizens where they won't just turn it into another Hamas breeding ground to attack us as soon as possible. Right, but the war is over as soon as we get yeah. them hostages back. And in the north, in his beloved war, I be, it's also over. Listen, it sounds weird to say people don't think we did it that quick, but we did. We've already cleared all the very imminent threats that are very close to our borders. Took out the missiles and the rocket missile launchers and out in the homes and the tunnels and everything that's right along our border that what was threatening our citizens and that's all we had to do but we even went further we took off we took out Nasrallah we took out all their head honchos we took out the whole thing. we've we've done a lot of damage in in uh, Hezbollah and in Lebanon we will never be the never, there never was the, uh, the the objective was to completely dismantle Hezbollah, meaning basically meaning take over all of Lebanon. Lebanon yes. We're not going to do that. Yeah. That was never going to be. That was never the plan. Just move them back so that we have a buffer zone to protect ourselves. Well, we've done that too. Yes. Everything, all of our goals have been met except for one thing: the hostages aren't back yet. Yeah. Right. Talking about the hostages, Benjamin Netanyahu just recently made a video when he talking about he actually saying that wh whoever ho hold or have oh, yeah. information uh, for a ho about hostage, living hostage, that will give it to us, to Israel, will get $5 million and safe passage for him, her, and their family yeah, yeah, out. to start new life. Yeah, $5 million a hostage. Yes. Anyone who gives a hostage, that's... that's and we know that many... Civilian are the families ones holding, the hostages. holding the hostages. So maybe I hope, I hope, I hope this will help. It would might. It will Amen. Work. It was yeah. a wonderful thing he did. Yes. It is really sad how after so horribly being attacked on the seventh of October, and then Iran alongside with Hezbollah outly stating that their goals are to wipe Israel and Jews off the map as well as all the other anti-Semitic speech and actions, okay? All of that, the whole Arab world just outly saying they want Jews dead and their objective is to kill every Israeli in the state of Israel. So, and then after all of that, now the International Criminal Court, the ICC, just issued an arrest warrant for Gallant and Netanyahu for war crimes and even humanitarian crisis in Gaza. 
By the way, they just put out a show. They just put on a show as well and act as if they are not only against the Jews. They also put out an arrest warrant for the dead body of Ichia Senwar. You know, because that, that really proves a point. You know, yeah, that there, it wasn't honest. just a witch hunt against Jews in Israel. I want you to understand the meaning of that. Not only the, opi the, the public opinion of all over the world, and especially Europe and yep. the West, but also, in fact, Benjamin Netanyahu and Garland cannot travel to more than 124 countries. Yes, that's crazy. Because they're going to be arrested if the, the country decide to follow this warrant. Yeah, and quite a few have already said they would. Oh, we know who, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, I don't, I don't you know, it sounds like you're only talking about the ex-prime, uh, uh, the, the ex-minister uh, uh, of defense, Gallant and Netanyahu. But you got to remember, that's a, there's a whole nation here. That, that that stands behind their leaders here. Yes. And it, the reason I started off by saying about 7th of October, the horrible things that happened, and then all the other countries joining in and against Israel and wanting, outly saying, not afraid of their speech, hate speech, saying they want to kill all the Jews. So not only do we have all of that against us as a nation, as a people, you add to that, like the UN, what you know, United Nations, the people that the world's supposed to see, the Western world, right, represent the Western world. They come up with this stuff and just, and it's just, it's heavy for the average Israeli. It's heavy. Think about it, how the whole world is against them. Yeah. The whole world. I hate to do this, but it's true. That's why what we do here with your support Showing them what we do and the people that love them. You know, I give it, I, I'm going to inject something here. The place we just got, right in our neighbor business, right in front of us, is a pet, a pet shop owner. Jewish guy with a kippah, you know, religious guy. And the first thing I did is I told him this comes from the body of Christ, this comes from believers. And we had a, maybe at least a 20 minute conversation, and he did not understand just like most Israelis, that believers love Jews, love Israel. He thought it was like the rest of the Israel thinks. It's the Catholic, anyone who say Christian, they, it's like the Catholic Church and the Crusaders and, and what they did back in those days. A lot of misinformation and right. ignorance. Yeah. yeah. So the average Jewish person thinks everyone is against him. Everyone in the world hates him just because he was born Jewish. So what we do here is so important. It shows them the love. Of Jesus. It shows yes. them the love of, of the body of Christ. It shows amen. them that they're not alone. Amen. Yeah, amen. Yeah. Yes. Well, I just wanted to put that in. That was an amazing. That's I didn't even point. tell you that but conversation we ha I had today where, when I was putting sh some shelves together in the place and everything. Yeah. It was a wonderful conversation. Yeah. Well, that would probably end up being another guy we end up witnessing to slowly, slowly as he sees, you know, that's another way, another thing about what we're doing. Anyway, <laughs> let's keep going. Yeah. What about World War III, Ola? What about it? Okay, well, is Putin going to use nuclear weapons now since NATO has escalated and really escalated their involvement with Ukraine by sending longer-range missiles, allowing Ukraine to make attacks much further into Russia? Who knows? Maybe even all the way to Moscow. I don't know. I don't know if it's that long of a relationship, but, <laughs> but, but definitely reach deep into Russia. Well, first of all, let's not forget that Putin has been threatening to use nuclear weapons on a daily basis for over a year now. So wolf, wolf, right? I mean, he's been crying wolf yeah. for over a year, close to two years. But who knows what, what, what is that man really capable of. Yeah. But the more important question what Putin's capable of is what is the Russian army still capable of anymore? Because we see they're not the big bad bear we used to think, but we still don't know we don't know his secrets, so we don't know what 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 there is there to be worried about. Just recently they had to get um reinforcement or help from 17,000 soldiers North Korea, from North Korea. From North and Korea. another 100,000. 
it's very simple to see. We don't have enough soldiers. We don't have enough power. We need help. Yeah. That's all. Uh, so well, we'll see. We'll yeah. see what uh, he's backed up in a corner now. That's for sure. So we don't know. Like like I said, like we said, good things and bad things and. But I guess that's just the sign of the times, you know. It's just we're gonna have to roll with. It. Good thing we're optimistic people, and we <laughs> and we find the good in in everything. Because we know what's gonna happen in the end. We right? know the end, and we know, <laughs> and we're ready to go home anyway, right? <laughs> yeah. Praise the Lord and pass the ammunition. How yeah. they say in the South, in yeah. the United States. I love my Southern man. Oh, that's okay. Well, you got anything <laughs> you want to add? Um. I am excited, so I already said that. I excited so much and so many good things. I know there's bad things that happening, but also good things happen that fill my heart with so much hope and and I I'm spiritually I'm really like wow. I'm you know, I feel so so <laughs> amazing. <laughs> yeah. Me too. So the Lord's doing things, he's moving, we can feel it. Yes. Yes. And um that's basically it. Let's hope we have even better week. <laughs> yes, I'm sure we will because yeah. we have a blessed week coming up. We don't have it yet, but you guys have always come through. You know, we got to buy more uh, food to fill up this place. And, and, and Lord willing, we'll be back on track here pretty quick. Doubling, at least doubling the amount of people that we're helping Amen. every week. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. Yes. God bless you all. Amen. Don't forget to join us on thegoldenreport.com. And until next time. Shabbat Shalom. God bless.